So I hear that the U.S. is the worst when it comes to um, maternal mortality rates and infant mortality rates among developed countries. Well, hmm, I'd like to see the peer-reviewed data on that if somebody has it. <laughs> but of course, we'll just have to work with what we have available to us. Uh, a couple of problems I want to get out of the way, though, when dealing with such a, a matter is that, well, one is, depending on the criterion in which one uses to um, rank countries by their development, will have a great effect depending on <laughs> where that goes. And then to do that in relation to uh, their mortality rates, well, you run into problems there. Uh, secondly, when we're talking about something like maternal mortality, there's problems there as, as well, uh, depending on how the data is collected and the deaths attributed to actual maternal uh, maternity is, is also a problem. But regardless, we'll just go with what we have here. Uh, well, let me just elaborate then a bit on more on that hum uh, the country development thing. You, you see, let's say you use the top uh, 10 countries, right? And there's the U.S. It may be then, if you're just using 10 countries, uh, well, then maybe they are the worst. But then if you extend that down to 20 countries or 50 or 200 or whatever you're tier development is going to be <laughs> you can see that it will change the ratings for each country uh, so for instance if you look at this report here from the UN this is what we'll be using and this is correct this is from that same report the one that uh, Wikipedia has on here for a developed country that is correct these these rankings you see how it stops at 47 well that is the top tier according to that United Nations report I forget what they called it uh, the uber duber developed countries top 47 however you look down then at the IMF advanced economies uh, we see out of the 35 they have listed the United States is the 35th you look at the United Nations report United States is number four so you can see you can mess with these rankings to make it look different than what it to make it look in different ways let's also keep in mind that this is another issue when we're talking about health that is pretty much just like the social construction of sex trafficking in regards to when people are arguing for oh for national health care and things of that nature it gets politicized and of course the numbers get you know Okay, so that sort of stuff happens. All right, so let's just look at what we have then. So if we're going to use the numbers here, the 1 through 47, and we'll use the mortality rates from the World Factbook here. And then after that, we'll talk a little bit more about maternal mortality. Okay. All right, here's our countries then. We have this sorted by first infant mortality which is the deaths per 1,000. And we'll go ahead then and look for in the United States. The United States has a rate of 6.06. .06. We can see that they are not the worst. Carter has that honor at 12.05. Next we'll sort for maternal mortality. Okay, we're sorted for maternal mortality now. This is rate per 100,000. And the way you see that they have this set up is uh, two, some countries will have the same, right? So Ireland and Greece both have three per 100,000 and and so on. So we have to count it that way. We have to go count it like this, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. United States is nineteen. 
20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, so the United States is 19 out of the 23 here. And in the CIA World Factbook, they did not have the data for maternal mortality rates for Hong Kong, Andorra, or Liechtenstein. Just to mention that. So as it goes, we'll just have to go with that data for right now. Now let us sort for the heck of it. Just want to do crude death rates, or just death rate as they might say. We'll sort for that. Okay, sorted for death rate here. See the United States is right here at 8.38. The highest being 13.6 Latvia. So it appears that the United States is not the highest in any of these. So just to sum up then for our purposes here, the United States, concentrating on the United States, the development index is they were number 4 out of 47, the infant mortality rate was third, they put placed at 33 out of 47, the maternal mortality was actually, yes, I just wanted to double check that, yes, 19 out of the 23 ranking slots. The crude death rate then was 8.38, which put them at 19 out of 47. And just for the heck of it, I went and looked at the top five worst countries, moving outward to all countries now. Afghanistan, we look at, compare that to U.S. maternal mortality rate at 24, Afghanistan 1400, and so on. Infant mortality rate, U.S. 6.06, .06. Angola. 175.90 death rate US 8.38 Angola 23.40 life expectancy US 78 Angola 38 now with maternal mortality depending on how you look at how far back you go and what you do and what you read about there's all kinds of talk about the rising rates of uh, maternal mortality and what's attributing to it they don't really know. There's lots of... I'll leave you lots of links and you can go read into it, right? From the National Vital Statistics Reports, uh, under deaths, adopting, uh, let's see, adopting a pregnancy status question consistent with the standard death certificate increases the identification of maternal deaths Okay, you look at it, you see, since 1915, the mortality rate was 607.9 in the U.S. Uh, by 1996, it was 8.5. From a 1999 report, they said that uh, since 1982, maternal mortality has not declined. And we can see that continues on, and we get a rise then 2002 to 2003 and again we get up to 2012 up to 24 they mention a lot of the varying factors that go into it women having you know, births at a later age more uh, cesarean sections becoming more and more um, prominent or prevalent rather all kinds of different ways, all, all kinds of uh, uh, contributing factors to, from how they, you know, count it, right, to how they gather the information, to, well, you even think about it too, like I said, with the, what they attribute to the death, right? Is it really attributed to a maternal, um, to maternity? Uh, but regardless, yes, it is deserving to see a rise. Nonetheless, it would nice to be nice to see it go down. How to uh, accomplish that? Well, that depends. All right, so that's it. Peace out, my brothers, sisters, and everyone in between.